not that I need that anymore. <laughs> All right, what happened? Maybe I'm going to go to She fell in the house. And then she was just like that she was not talking to the hospital. Then when she was taken to the hospital, she stayed there for three days, then she started talking. Then they told her it was a stroke. So when they put her there was a stroke, then they gave her medication for stroke. She finished the first dose. But it was but it continued to be worse. Wow, did you hear that? Repeat that again. For nine years. For nine years. Nine years she could nine years she could not walk. She stayed in the house. Yes. And then what did Jesus do today? He has healed me. afternoon it became severe and I was trusting God. I was just telling God that today I receive my healing because it's Jehovah Rophe, my healer. So I was telling, I was just saying in my head today I must receive my healing because we are we receive the teachings and I don't know how you'll do it God but before tonight I'll receive my healings and uh, I wanted, to, uh, it was too painful for me to come tonight and my husband told me, can we go and get medication? I just told him, let us just come, because it was already five. And as at now, there is no pain. I glorify my God this night. He has recited back my sight. I lost my sight. I lost my sight when I was in front two. I could not see back. I could not read, but now God has healed me. I can't see. So what happened? Let's go to church. I had a pain on my knee. I was not in a position even to bend my knee. But when she prayed for me, I get healed. I had a bad backache for the whole week. From last week, I have been suffering from backache. And it has gone. Yes, yes. I've been having a severe backache since 2018 up to date. But I thank God because he has done it again. Yes. 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 I'm healed I thank God. Ma'am. When I came here, I was feeling unwell. As we started to worship, I told God, God, today is my day. God, touch my heart today. I surrender all unto you today, Jesus. Do something which doctors could not do. Yes! I've been attending clinics, I've been seeing different orthopedics, but nothing has been done. But today, I thank God. Yeah, she was feeling pain all over the body like two weeks ago she couldn't sleep. It was something like something too heavy was passing in her body. But uh, right now she's feeling good, she's healed, and uh, she has been set free in Jesus' name. Amen. So what did Jesus do for you just now? Uh, Jesus set me free, made me free. I didn't know that I was bound by demons. And when Pastor Amanda prayed for me, I felt uplifting, I felt loose, I felt free, I felt like I've been in a cage, but now Jesus has just broken loose the chains that were binding me, and I believe that I'm free. 
and I'm happy and I'm loved and Jesus loves me and he loves me and I know that he loves me. Yeah. So in the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of deafness. I ask Jesus that you restore his ear right now. Jesus, thank you for healing his ear. Is something happening in your ear right now? I feel it open. In Jesus' name. So Since I've had a problem, there was something that pricked into his ear, uh-huh. and it's been on and off, on and off. But right now, after prayer, he feels it's open. Praise God! Say it again, we